Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from OJA. This is their voice-controlled seven-color backlit gaming keyboard. You can check this keyboard out on Amazon at the time of this video for uh, $43, and I will have that link, as always, in the description below where you guys can check it out. Now, this keyboard is a membrane key style keyboard. It is not a mechanical keyboard, so if you're looking for those mechanical clicks, uh, you're not going to get them out of these keys, but the upside is that they're super quiet keys, so if you live in a house where if you game at night and you don't want to keep people up, then this is a great keyboard for that. As far as the typing experience and gaming experience goes, this keyboard does very, very well on the on the typing experience uh, as well as the gaming experience uh, you just don't get that mechanical key clicking uh, and feel from mechanical keys now they, it comes in this box it's a plain box here but they do have some information on here we'll get into in just a second but if you do want to uh, get in touch with them by email you can check them out at support at day to buy dot cn uh, this comes in three uh, different colors actually four different colors but i've seen it only in three on Amazon. There's a black, which is the one I have, obviously. There's a silver, and then there's a rose gold. There's also a gold one as well, but I did not see that at the time uh, of this review on Amazon. Uh, besides that, it's just a plain box that it comes shipped in. Uh, they do give us a manual here uh, that I will go over, uh, just because it's got some key features on it, just to kind of show you. It does have um, 19 key uh, non-conflict rollover, uh, backlight obviously with a whole bunch of different modes that we'll get into uh, as well. Uh, you can uh, lock out your uh, Windows key. Uh, you have 12 multimedia keys as well. The cable itself is a 1.8 meter uh, USB cable. It's not braided. I wish it was. Uh, that's kind of uh, one of the things my little nitpicking uh, goes with is I, I wish that they had put a braided cable on this just because they're a little bit more durable uh, than these regular cables but the cable uh, is just the cable so it's not a big deal uh, it's 457 by 186 by uh, 47 millimeters uh, and it weighs 1250 grams this is a full 104 key keyboard so you will have your number pad on the right hand side here uh, if you're a fan of the number pad uh, you do get the 12 multimedia keys uh, up at the top here, your F1 through F12. Uh, you also will get uh, your keystroke in these is a three millimeter keystroke here. So you've got that there, a hard press uh, of 80 plus, and my, uh, plus or minus five uh, voltage of DC five volt at 300 milliamps. And again, it comes in black, silver, gold colored and rose gold. Uh, I did see three of those four colors on Amazon. Uh, it works on Windows ME and above all the way up to 10. I tested it on Windows 10 PC with typing and gaming. Uh, so at least you know it's tested on the newest OS. I have not tested it on any of the other OSs. And it does not mention Mac, so I cannot comment whether this works on Mac or not. Uh, it does, again, support this voice control, uh, which I'll go over at the end. Uh, it's one of the last modes. It's your function 9. And uh, it has a, an embedded a microphone in it that when it hears noise like snapping or talking it will react to that uh, so we can go over that now these are all the modes that it does so it's going to take us a couple minutes to go over all these modes here again you have your multimedia keys here from uh, a media to volume up and volume down muting with your function f4 uh, stop backward forward play pause email my computer web home and calculator most of your normal multimedia uh, keys are all built in here so you will get all of those now function f or function one through function nine are all your led modes you get a flow pattern you get a sever a seven color entertain entertaining diversions mode which we'll go over uh, as we go through them a uh, colorful colorful circular breathing mode uh, three uh, pure color comet tail mode seven color manual switch that's going to be your solid color uh, and you can switch all of that again by just hitting function five. I'll go over that as well. Uh, seven color diffusion concentration, uh, custom area. There are six different areas that you can um, set this up on. It will start on the left-hand side, and I'll show you that too uh, as we go through them. But as you can see, a ton of different modes here. Again, your function uh, nine will be your uh, voice-controlled mode, uh, and it will... Um, 
be able to you'll be able to change that function page up uh, and function page down will change the receiving sensitivity of the microphone and then function arrow up key uh, and down key to change the colors so you've got that there so let's get into that we'll turn down the lights here so that you guys can see this uh, I really like this keyboard I think they, that if you're not uh, dead set on getting a mechanical keyboard. This one has so many options uh, that it's just ridiculous. This is the first mode that starts off here, uh, and it is a a pretty cool mode. Uh, I, I like it. It's different than most style keyboards. This is the flow pattern. Uh, if you do a function page up, uh, you can actually uh, adjust the speed on this to go faster. Uh, or slower. This is kind of at the fast speed and that's kind of at the slower speed as you see. Uh, and then if you go all the way down, it will slow down even more and then it will turn off. And uh, some of these modes will do that where if you continue to page down all the way, it will turn the entire keyboard off, which is awesome because I like sometimes just to have the keyboard uh, deactivated without lighting. So uh, the ability to turn it all the way off is great. You also have next to the function key, a light key. And if you hit function uh, that light key, it will turn everything off no matter what mode you're in. So that's really cool. The seven color entertaining mode is function two. So we'll check that out here real quick. Uh, that is just kind of a different pattern. Again, if you want to change uh, the way this is going, this is kind of flowing, uh, you know, from one side to the other. If we want to go function right, uh, it will go to the right. If you do a function left, it will go to the left. Uh, so you can change direction. You can also change uh, speeds on this as well. So uh, you've got your function up and down again to get to the fastest mode. Uh, and we can change directions. As you can see, I can go left or right, and then if I go function page down, it will slow down, and then you can turn it off. So you've got that as well. So I'll jack that back up to the highest speed. Uh, now your function uh, three is a circular breathing. It's basically a breathing mode here. So you've got function three. It'll start out in red in the breathing mode and then change colors for you, which I found really cool. Uh, and again, you can change the speed on this uh, with page up and page down. Uh, lowest will be off again. So if we want to do function, uh, this is the fastest that it'll switch and then it will go, if we go all the way down to nothing, oops, there we go, that's off, that's the slowest that will, it will switch. So not too bad, and at least you get some adjustments there. Uh, function four is a, uh, a comet trail. Uh, so we'll go to that function four here. Uh, and then that's kind of like just a wave of you know, color that you've got there. I think that one looks really cool too. Again, function page up and page down is your speed adjustment. Uh, and direction again is going to be function uh, right or left. It's already going to the left. If I want it to go to the right, I just hit it that way and I can switch it back uh, to go to the right. Function five is going to be where you're going to set uh, most of your solid colors here. So you've got function five, it's going to start out on red uh, and then we'll go through the colors. You've got a green here that looks awesome, I think. Uh, then you've got blue, you've got yellow, you've got like this teal, you've got purple, you've got white, uh, you've got rainbow static, so that's cool. And then you go back to red. So very cool there that you can you know, change the whole layout to just whatever color you want, or even just a static rainbow. Uh, your color diffusion is going to be a function six. Uh, and again, it's a, another color that kind of comes in and goes out. Uh, and then we can uh, change direction. Uh, you've got diffusion and contraction. So uh, left will be diffusion, which is function left. And then function right will be out from the middle, as you can see, and function left will be in from the sides to the middle. So pretty cool there. Uh, function uh, seven is your custom area here. Uh, it will start this way. If you hit function seven again, you can put it in a learning state. All the lights will flash twice, and you can function uh, plus direction key to adjust after learning state. And you can pretty much set this up. So if we go function uh, seven again, they all flash, 
uh, and then we can start setting these uh, to different zones if we want to and I'm not going to get into that it's just going to take too long so uh, but you can set different zones like you see here if I want to set up different keys to just be lit I can set up whatever ones that I want and then save them uh, so that they'll do that function 8 is a uh, point spread which is one of my favorites on most keyboards uh, so let's check that out. That would be function eight. This kind of spiders out as you type on it in different colors. Uh, I really like this. It's a reactive mode. Uh, they did an excellent job on that. Now you can um, page up and page down to uh, change the speed. So we'll do a function uh, page up. Now that's a kind of the fast speed here. And then we'll do a function page down all the way off so one more up that's our slower speed and as you can see you can adjust those speeds which is really cool to like even a super fast speed so that it's almost looking like the whole thing's lit up at once uh, so then the last one we have here is function 9 and this is kind of just a feature I think uh, if you have function 9 on here as I'm speaking it's picking up my voice and it's lighting up. It's reacting to my voice. It'll also bounce with music and do different things as well. You can do function page up and page down to um, change the receiving sensitivity of the sound. So if it's picking up too much or not enough, you can do function page up to up the sensitivity and function page down to make it lower if you want to. Um, and if you do a function uh, up or down it will change the colors so if I want a green I can leave it at green and as I'm talking it's picking up because I've got it at the highest sensitivity level uh, so again something cool a neat feature to have uh, I don't know how useful it is but it is kind of cool uh, that is built into the keyboard so um, for this I'm just going to turn this back to a solid color and this is honestly this is my favorite color is green the green on black looks awesome I think OJA did a great job on this again you've got all of your multimedia keys up here as well so you can do a you know uh, a function F4 to you know uh, mute your audio and a function F2 and F3 to uh, control your volume and you've got your play and pause and forward and reverse and you've got your even a calculator button up here and a lot of other things if you want to lock out your windows key you can do that is with a function uh, windows key to lock your windows key out during gaming uh, overall uh, th there's not a lot to complain about on this keyboard uh, the build quality is exceptional uh, as well excuse me I'm gonna turn that there uh, it is all metal everything on this except for the end caps right here are plastic uh, everything else the deck itself is all metal uh, the last thing that I wanted to report on this is on the bottom you're going to see you've got some nice feet here uh, and that makes it really nice to hold it to your desk uh, but there is no uh, level changer here you're kind of at a static uh, level so if you want to change the angle on the keyboard you're not going to be able to do so so that's kind of a drawback but not too bad uh, and you do have some capable management back here it does come out on the side but if you would like it to come out uh, you've got some runners here these hooks are made of plastic so be very careful when you're hooking these and unhooking these that you don't snap it off uh, just be careful with them they're, they're not terribly f fragile but they aren't made of metal um, and then you can have it come out of the middle of your keyboard or the other side depending on how you have your cabling uh, all set up uh, so they did a really good job again this anodized aluminum metal uh, chassis works out really well on this keyboard uh, I think they did an excellent job on that it's a very durable keyboard uh, it does have 19 um, key rollover on it so you've got that uh, if you need full rollover then this is kind of a pass for the people that really want full rollover and if you want mechanical keys you're going to want to pass on this too because this is definitely a membrane keyboard uh, benefits of a membrane keyboard silent very silent keys uh, nice reactive keys but very silent uh, again the typing experience and gaming experience I didn't have any problems with it at all uh, so the key uh, the keys respond very well and are very comfortable to type on you get a full layout of 104 keys here so you've got everything the backlighting modes that they have on this are insane I mean you've seen it you saw how many we went through and I think they did an excellent job of incorporating a super uh, uh, amount of uh, backlighting 
modes so that you can f f it's pretty much going to I can't think of anything else that they could put in here uh, even with the voice uh, if we do a function 9 uh, you've got your voice reaction here that works very well even me as far away as I am talking I'm um, having it picking it up so if you're playing music then it's definitely going to pick that up uh, and it works very well so this was the uh, voice controlled seven color backlit gaming keyboard from OJA if you guys have any questions or comments about this keyboard please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I will check you guys out on the next video.